Hello? I have appeared on your screen because stuff has happened. So what's up? Starbucks did egregious and widespread labor law violations. As unions try to rightfully organize in Starbucks locations, Starbucks has been union busting, and a judge has found that that union busting was egregious and widespread. It's not a question of if they did union busting, it's a question of how did they do so much union busting? The judge has ordered Starbucks to rehire those who were wrongfully terminated and compensate those involved, and Starbucks is like, but we don't wanna do that. This is because the executives at Starbucks are soulless ghouls who would prefer for you to be a little meat gremlin that extracts wealth for them. To be clear, it is workers' rights to unionize. It is not okay to bust those unions. It does not matter if they're a private company. They are not allowed to ignore workers' rights. I know you're getting a lot of snow right now, but hey, California, your drought's getting a little better. Well, it's not totally fixed. The California rain and snowstorms that have been happening have cut the California drought in half, kind of. So, I mean, like, while you're shoveling and stuck at home, I mean, that's, you know, silver lining. Hey, you know that thing where you, like, need mental health assistance and you see a therapist and it's all supposed to be private and all that stuff? Well, not with BetterHelp. A few years ago, BetterHelp, the online therapy service, was caught sharing therapy information with Facebook for advertisements. Yes. Anyway, they settled and they've been asked to not do that anymore by the FTC. My personal experience with BetterHelp was I was desperately needing help and uh, got mad for somebody who didn't understand anything I was saying and was eating McDonald's during our therapy session. I, I don't know what's going on, um, but more child pornography stuff. The mayor of College Park, Maryland, home of University of Maryland College Park, was uh, charged with 56 counts of child pornography. He has resigned. I don't know what else to say here. Like, this is just days after the other dude in Florida was found with 2,600 pounds of material. I have found it incredibly easy throughout the totality of my life to simply not prey on children. Rapid fire. Tesla's investor day happened and Elon Musk made a bunch of empty promises, including showing their new models of cars under a bed sheet, as opposed to actually showing a model. In gaming news, the latest Minecraft update has gotten a name. It's gonna be called the Trails and Tails update. Also, the EU is reportedly going to allow the Microsoft acquisition of Activision Division Blizzard. And finally for today, Salesforce is laying off 8,000 people despite apparently having Matthew McConaughey on their payroll for $10 million a year. All right, all right, all right. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of Stuff Keeps Happening. Head to stuffkeepshappening.online for sources, bonus content, and reams of paper. That one wasn't a particularly good one. Anyway, my name is Endeavorance. Thank you so much for listening. I'll be back on Monday. As a quick reminder, we're going to be going to Monday, Wednesday, Friday as the new schedule for this show. So I'll see you next week. Take care and be well.